Well, my first reaction is it's interesting. It, with all the Metal Gears, you always listen. You always you, you have to pay attention. You, you have to pay attention to the trailers. It, it gives you a lot of little teasers and stuff like that. And also being that the series has been consistently good, regardless of you know which ones are better or not. But they've always been consistent. And so you, every time you see a trailer, you got to pay attention because it's something. It's gonna make a big splash. Yeah. Looking at it, it's I think one of the biggest things is the subtle uh, details that go on. For example, when you're seeing um, Snake in revived, you see the doctor sweating. You see the detail in the sweat, and where the ambulance is doing a roll, crashing. You see the pills flying. You see that amount of detail going on, and it's really it's an opportunity, a subtle opportunity, to show the power of the Fox engine. Yep, you got it. I was going to say that. It's a new FOTS engine. <laughs> and it's it's very important. What I've also noticed is that with all amongst all the other trailers I, I can recall, this one is very dark. Uh, figuratively and literally. You notice of all, all, almost all the scenes aside from the hospital, you see a lot of darkness. And you don't see that with all the games, even with Metal Gear Solid 4, with how grim the situation is, how they were doing it. There's a lot of light going on. This one, you don't see much dark um, light, uh, sunlight, and then you see fires. Well, also, like well, also, there's not enough Meryl, you know, Meryl's ass. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, and also, but speaking with it, with also, is uh, literally, it's off. Is that um, figuratively? Is there's not much jokes. You don't see a cardboard scene. You don't see. Yeah. Well, what what copy. doesn't really help, for in my opinion, I mean, I understand the music. It's supposed to enhance the feeling or the mood. You know, like for example, if he, if Tajima, if Tajima did this, if Tajima put a happy tune over this, uh, it would give you a completely different feeling over this tune with its, with extraordinary people. You know, the I, I don't know who the artist is, but I know it's uh, I know the title is most likely "Extraordinary People" because it keeps repeating it over and over and over. Um, for me, when my first reaction, I was a bit dumbfounded. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Because there's so many different shots. You see the hospital. You see the oil raids uh, exploding. You see multiple different characters, and you're like, "Okay, is this is that so and so?" Like, for example, the horse and the the guy riding the horse. I'm like, "Is that Ocelot?" You know. And there's so many different and characters. It is it's, Ocelot, by the way, on the horse. Well, well, I'm, I'm just saying at first, at first, at first glance, and I'm like, "Is that Ocelot?" It's like you, you kind of get like a reminiscence going on. You're like, "Okay, it's like, oh my god, is that is that so and so?" He just he, and you have so much excitement. Well, for me, you have so much excitement with this. It's just like, wow, you know, it, it's it's kind of interesting to see how the series supposed supposedly ended with MGS4 when Kojima said, "Okay, I'm done making MGS stuff." I'm ready to move on, and now he's doing the fifth one with Big Boss, and I, I just thought the trail the trailer overall was well done. In my in in I, I don't know how the game is going to play out, you know, but I just thought this is my opinion. I thought there was too much hospital scenes. That's just me though. I mean, again, in the game, it, the hospital part might be a very big part of the game, so maybe that's the reason why it took up the majority of the trailer so i don't know but for me i thought that the hospital scene could have just been toned down just a little bit but yeah i understand where you're coming from at the same time it's i think it's also um it was also very interesting i picked up is that you don't hear many voices yeah in the trailer in, in a sense that that's also like the big drum roll because it's because with um as many people know, David Hayter is no longer going to be, it's not going to be Solid Snake, no, sorry, not Solid Snake, Big Boss in this game. So, in a sense, it's a, it's going to be a new, interesting aspect that you don't get to see in the main Metal Gears. You, you're going, you're expecting to hear David Hayter. But this is, this is going to be different though. What, what's different though is they're keeping the Japanese voice actor for, for Snake, but they're ditching Hayter. You know, okay, a hater's going to hate. But, but <laughs> still, my point still stands with the English version, then. It's still okay. it's going to be a very interesting opportunity to see what happens. For example, this is going to be really off uh, the original Revolver Ocelot we, that we have many yeah. fans have grown to love. has it Stuff like that. Campbell seems to be the same in the 
first trailer, but we have to get into that later. But the the first trailer before this one, it's um, it, you don't see. It seems like there's going to be a couple of English actors for the kind of game that go from the series that are going to remain. But at the same time, it mm-hmm. seems like it could be a much more vast, yeah, uh, opportunity to share or open up the opportunity for other voice actors. Yeah, it, and. I, I agree. I agree with you there because I feel like that this is gonna be a, a different jump start for the series. And again, I know Tajima said that MGS4 was gonna be the last one, but who knows after doing this trailer? Yeah. And so this might be a different startup for uh, different voice acting, you know. And yeah. well, just like you said. And what I find really interesting is at the very. I know I'm jumping around in the trailer, but at the very end of the trailer, you see the patch for on Bid Boss. And you see the patch saying Diamond Dodds. You know that's the that's the mercenary mercenary group he puts together. And uh, I, I don't know. I just like it's it's gonna be interesting because we don't for right now uh, until the game gets released. We don't know if you're going to be seeing him put together the group or something's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it'll be interesting to see wh- how everything turns out uh, with the history behind Bid Boss. Yeah, I. Well, what I'm curious about is maybe this is a little too soon to say talk about it right now, but because we have so much other things to talk about, but it, I'm curious about it is okay with this engine, the Fox engine, all this all this effort put into it. What what, what where's next? I, I know this is way 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 too early to do, but what's going to be the next game going to be about? Regardless yeah. of who's going to be in charge, like a giant, well, whoever. But well, talking about games, was I was watching other reviews and uh, what's the term called? Uh, uh, I can't think of the term off the top of my head. But I was watching other channels, and one channel mentioned that uh, Phantom Pain and MGS Five was it Ground Zero or Ground Zeros? Yeah. Uh, those two are supposedly rumored to be two separate games yeah so i think that'll be pretty interesting to see yeah it's also very interesting with the take i had i want to go back because you know you made a comment about something but also looking at phantom pain that's also you know the loss of hand that's there's a phantom sense that your limit used to be there and that's a i think a the name of it or a nickname to you know, this sense of loss for your hands like it's you feel like it's there but it's not so mm-hmm. that's it's well, seems- it was interesting. It's interesting that you brought up the hand because in in the trailer you see two different versions of uh, of of Bid Boss, and when you when you first see him in the hospital, well, if you watch the other trailer for a Metal Gear Solid, which we we, we will be putting up on the YouTube video, uh, you do see uh, you do you, you do watch the play the game play, not the video, but the game play of uh, what's his name Bid Boss crawling around. And you see him with a hooked hand. It's not really, it's not really. Hand. You see him like look up in the seal, and you see this hook on his hand, and he's like, "What the hell is?" It? Well, from from my opinion, it seems like he doesn't know what's going on because uh, in the very beginning of this trailer that we're talking about, it says that he that when Bid Boss uh, went to he had, he went to cardiac arrest, the uh, doctor said that they got him too late and that he's in a coma. Later on in the trailer, it says that uh, that you were in it. This is as if you're talking to yourself or talking to Big Boss in first person. The daughter talks to him and says, "You've been in a coma for nine years." And the other thing that I don't know if this is going to be if this is going to be an Easter egg or what. But what's really interesting about that hospital room with Big Boss when he gets the news that he was in a coma for nine years is you see the England flag. In the background on the wall, I don't know if that is going to be leading to anything. I don't know if that kind of hints to the location of where he's at. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. I, I just thought that was interesting because. I, sorry, I, I'm no problem. I'm I can't it, but feel like it, it seems like I'm going. I'm probably over, over analyzing, but I won't. I can't help but think that they took advantage of Snake's uh, injuries like i don't say that, yeah it's too late i think the, i won't be surprised he injected him with something and they put him into a coma if that makes mm-hmm. sense and yeah. and here's several advantages one you have 
you get a chance to get Big Boss's DNA, you know, the world's best, greatest soldier. Two, looking at the Patriots' perspective, with uh, Big Boss out of power, out of action, you have nine years, a considerable amount of time to put to establish uh, Major Zero's operations. And looking at the Engl- English flag, you, as you're talking about, Major Zero is able to monitor Snake. It's all, he's under his jurisdiction, if that makes sense. Yeah. And <clears throat> looking at it also with the extraordinary people thing, it's it's in a sense it's it's pushing into the aspect that it, this is going to be it, it probably might be a hint to the acronym extraordinary operations forces, as I said earlier, mm-hmm. and like XCOM and like looking at it, it's like you talking about people that are are good, very good with technology and mysticism and stuff like that, and also and also. Connections, people knowing other people in high places. Yeah, and I, I can't. I hate, I hate to be and sound like a, like a, a jerk about this, but I'm not that excited, in the sense that you, I, you know that snakes, you know, big boss is going going to overcome it. I think the excitement's going to is that, though, is that how is he going to overcome it? Yeah, exactly. And and talking about that, it's it's really interesting. Uh, I, I want to point out what I find very interesting about this this trailer is in the very very beginning when you see Big Boss in the middle, and, and I don't know who it is on the other side, but um you see two other people next to you, and at the very end before it cuts to a different scene, uh, I the guy at the very end on the hospital bed or operating table whichever, um, he says how about that guy over there? Oh, that's and he's looking at. The guy in the sunglasses is Master Miller. That he's a very good guy. They're very close. And oh, oh. And okay. Peace Walk. Sorry. However, okay. what I heard someone say, I think when the videos you were mentioning earlier, is, is actually it isn't anyone. All it is is just Hideo Kojima, and it's meant to be his perspective. If that okay. makes sense. Pe- because that, that's the reason why I brought it up. Because uh, I don't know what's what's interesting is is you don't know if you're actually playing or not playing you're seeing through a different character's eyes like for example when you watch snake or or bid boss sorry i should say bid boss when you watch bid boss go through the trailer there's like explosions and you follow him around my for me i have the question is is it someone else following bid boss and, and helping him out or is it i, I know I, I don't want to know too much detail yet but i know ishmael's there to help him but uh I just want to know, for example, when he's in the truck, or the ambulance, sorry, and the slow motion shot of all the pills going up in the air, and it flips over, and he crawls out, I would like to know if that's a real person actually with Big Boss, or is that just the camera just being fancy, you know? I'm pretty sure it's probably the camera being fancy, but given with Kajim, I I don't blame you for saying that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm being as I I don't know as much as you do with uh, the the MGS series because I remember when I finished MGS4. Well, I watched it, but when I finished watching MGS4, I was like, "What the hell is going on?" It it, it was just a complete mind fuck. Honestly, I, I was just completely my mind was just dumb. I was like, "Done." done i can't i I just can't i I just can't absorb anything else right now and so i had like honestly my mind i don't want to joke around about this but my mind felt like it was in a a coma for like a day because i was just like whoa you know it it was just the the plot is so deep for me it's too deep but it was it was just so deep that i just i couldn't just grasp it it was just one of those things you just have to nitpick it every day until you finally understand it or try to understand it yeah yeah I think also what's interesting about the trailer is that maybe I'm wrong, but maybe perhaps this is this game is also is a median between two time periods. The first is the time period between Peace Walker, Mel Gibson mm-hmm. Peace Walker, and the very very first Mel Gear Mel Gear game, not Mel Gear Solid, Metal Gear, the NES version, where everything okay. all started. And you get to see uh, Zom- uh, Sean Connery with eye patch. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, but um, looking at it, but the second time period is nineteen uh, seventies, nineteen eighties. I would assume. Yeah. The, say again. 
I said for 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 this team, I'll I'll be assuming it's the nineteen seventies and nineteen yeah. eighties. Yes, yes. But the second period, time period, um, it could possibly be, and I'll have to explain it, is perhaps for um, Metal Gear Two, to all the way to Metal Gear Solid Four, mm-hmm. with Big Boss. What Big Boss was going through during that time period, being in uh, chirogenic, essentially under custody of his his body was still alive you know he's he's been, been torn to pieces but he's st- still somehow alive like so who am i you know what, what, how come i can't move how can i can't see if it may for me it's it doesn't isn't just about a uh, big boss just coming out of that coma in this trailer but it will he was he, he his body's going through his mind's going through during that long time period between the um Malgar two and to uh, Malgar Solid Four, if that makes sense. Where he yeah. he finally gets back, come he's put back together, and he's meets Snake for one last time. Mm-hmm. I uh, again, I, I'm not sure. It could be a long shot. I could be overanalyzing, but it looking at it, it could be a great opportunity because you're seeing. Uh, Again, also would be seeing Big Boss uh, um, coming to terms with who he is and the ideology that he picks up. For example, he he, he um, sees Big um, the Boss as wrong in Mount Peace Walker and turns his back to her because he thinks Caesar's a coward or I, doesn't look at her the same way as he, he used to. And with Mel Gersal IV, you, you see that Big Boss has come to the realization that the boss, all the boss wanted to do was good. He, and it was just to keep, have the people keep on going, and that's mm-hmm. it. Just maintain, just maintain the world, not change it, if that makes sense, I think, if I yeah. call correctly. So, yeah, I, 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 keep it, trying to keep it from Tujima's terms of explanation, ex, explanations. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I won't be surprised if they pull something like that. It Maybe I'm wrong, but well, Kajima is pretty famous for that, especially in MGS2 when he play Raiden and he does a cartwheel naked. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, looking at it with Dave Hader, I think it's, it's a shame. Yeah, but at the same time, it could be it's they're starting new. It's a new system, new council, and it's going to be very interesting what they want to do with it. The Fox Engine. It well, seems like. It seems like Kajima, uh, Kajima, sorry, Kajima's team is ready for some serious stuff in the future, not just for yeah. Dr. Solid well, 5. The, the thing, again, I want to bring up the point is they kept the same Japanese, vo- Japanese voice actor, but they kind of pushed Hater to the side. The thing is, is I, I don't know if they... I, I do not know the statistics, but I don't know if the American fan base is bigger for MGS than the Japanese. I do not know. Uh, but I, I have a theory where they might not... Again, it, it should be a whole public spoof where they're just trying to trick everyone and make everyone want to watch the game or play it just to see if haters going to be the voice actor. But on the other hand, maybe they could be telling the truth. And then later on in another game, so I'm most likely, I'm pretty sure, Kajima's going to be doing another game on this. Um, but I have a feeling that as uh, Big Boss ages, I have a feeling that Hater will step in to do the voice acting. I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I don't think but so. But it just, I, I, just think, I just think it's a theory of mine. No, I don't think so, because when you look at Mel Gears Hall 4, how the conclusion was, it was, completely, uh, it was a completely different voice actor for Big Boss. So... In a sense, I think it could be it could be appropriate because um, Big Boss is starting to get older and his voice, you know. Yeah. Is changing. Well, maybe maybe they want people to distinguish between Big Boss and Snake. You know, like, maybe they maybe I I, I I could be wrong, but this is assumptions. Uh, maybe Kajama wants people to say, "Oh, when I hear this voice actor, I immediately think of Solid Snake." But when I think of when I hear this voice actor, I think of Big Boss. Yeah. And may, maybe he just wants a different. Uh, uh, a different sound for different characters, but I, again, I the the reason why I I can't fully stand behind my opinions is because he kept the Japanese voice actor, or not he Kajima kept the same original voice actor for the Japanese uh, version. Yeah, but at the, at the same time, I remember Melkor Solid Four when it was 
everything was just rumors that the game hadn't come out yet. I remember I think it was PSM magazine, and they, they were showing the layout of the characters that were going or they were going to or supposedly going to be in it, like Naomi Hunter, Solid Snake, Meryl, stuff like that. And they had one picture of Big Boss. It wasn't much, and he looked pretty uh, wimpy. If it made no one say wrong word, wrong word, but just the body looked deteriorated. Mm-hmm. And but then when you and it's like okay, he's gonna come in the game. Is it this, 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 and this? And then when you realize it, boom, Mel Gasol fork the ending comes up. Poof, here's the big boss. So looking at it, man, John likes messing with his uh, his fans, but at the same time, I think. There's a point. It's like, yeah, I'm. He's. They're going to be in there. When he says they're going to be in there, he means it. So. And I, it's probably could be time for just different voice actors. I think because I don't know. We don't know if what's going to be what's the next going game is going to be like. If there is going to be one, because you know, this one seems like it's it's Kojima. It's yeah, Kojima. It's, it's close. What, what, what I said earlier, he says that MGS4 was going to be the last one of the series. He was going to move forward with other projects, and then he's doing MGS five. So, yeah, but at the same time, we, we I don't think really I, know. You can't you, you can't blame him though, because it's just... no, 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 I'm, I'm not I'm not blaming. Him. I'm just I'm, I'm not I'm not picking him. I'm only saying that uh, you know this this is his passion. You know, I think that he should keep going with it as long as he doesn't mess up the story or if someone else takes over. You yeah. know, uh, I, that's that's the only thing I ask. Really quick, I, I'd like to move on to a different section, which would be the characters. I really want to talk about. We are we've been talking about Bid Boss mostly and Snake, uh, but I'd like to talk about Ishmael, the guy who has his head wrapped. Um, I don't know if you watched the other trail, the other yeah. trailer, Bill, but there is a a gameplay of Ishmael guiding uh, Bid Boss. I keep saying uh, I'm almost want to say Solid Snake. Sorry, he, he's guiding Bid Boss to the hospital. And he's stumbling. He's pretty much crawling, you know, because he's. I'm. I'm assuming this is when he's. Uh, he's just a woke from his trauma, and Ishmael's here to save him. I honestly think this. I, this is just assumption. I honestly think Ishmael is gonna be or will be become Gray Fox, you know, for MGS One. I really awesome. think Ishmael is a character. The other thing um, I'd like to talk about. Is Psychomantis, Psychomantis, the guy with the orange hair who wears the mask, and he pretty much levitates through the, the ceiling, um, and then the elevator stops, and then you see this figure come out with who's pretty much made of fire. Uh, by watching the gait of the character or how he walks, he looks just, or he he seems like he looks just like Volden from MGS3. I, I really think it's Volden. That's just my that's just my opinion. Even though he's supposedly dead. Yeah, could be. I th- again could be. On, I, mean, I hate to say could be because it knows like this is trailer is supposed to be teasers and it's supposed to raise more questions yeah. and and what the appetite. But at the same time, I don't see Volgan as a guy that's going to take orders. He t- he gives the orders. He beats the snot out of people who who don't turn. Him Anger him, and for example, I remember. For example, Raiden was in Metal Gear Solid Three, or his the character look like looking like Raiden. <laughs> yeah. What he got special privileges despite his lower rank, because Vulcan said he is special. He gets special um, treatment, and he's so he's just probably just as power, almost as powerful as Vulcan because he's his partner. So I, I don't know. Maybe look again. Though looking at the how the other characters are, I they could have done a psychic takeover of the body, of his mind, so that, boom, okay. And also I want or they could have said, hey, look, you're going we're gonna get yeah you're gonna get the chance to kill a Big Boss. Oh, I'm in. So, especially with all the stuff he'd gone through. So, but perhaps not. And maybe what it could also be is a. Mirage, a hallucination of some sort, because look at it, this is a very uh, psychic, spiritual group of people. I mean, unlike the other Melchior Solids, because you, look, you have a freak, as I said earlier, a freaking flying, flaming whale. Well, 
real, real, <laughs> also, I want to add on to that. When I saw the whale, I, I, I was saying, is that the metal deer of the time? I, I just don't know. And what I find really interesting, Bill, is the the game studios that helped make this game is called Moby Dick. And then all of a sudden you see a flaming whale. I'm not saying it's a J thing, but I'm just saying. You see a flaming whale come out, I'm, I'm assuming, out of the water and then eat a helicopter out of the air. And it's like, well, is it paying tribute? I, I didn't. I could be wrong. I'm just saying. Are they trying to pay tribute, or was there a deal going on that? Oh, Moby Dick Studios. You see a whale. I I don't know. I, I just thought it was interesting. Um, and, Patrick, um, time out. Yeah. Moby is a whale. Oh God, yeah. That show was so funny. Was it uh, in living color? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, man overboard. <laughs> I, I couldn't, can't help also when I hear Moby Dick I hear Led Zeppelin drums and the yeah. drum solo playing yep uh, great but, song yeah I, and also looking at it you got the flaming uh, horse the flaming horse as well yeah. no, who, no 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 he's a unicorn actually they, well, that's, he does have a uh, and Pegasus it's a Pegasus as well yeah, I'm assuming. So, I'm assuming it, they injected the horse with a lot of nano machines. Yeah, I'm assuming. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's very, it's. I saw, also find interesting is that um, the only consistent character, new character, that's in both trailers is the the mysterious, yep. uh, blonde man in black, badly badly scarred. He has. I, I'm is, assuming he was burned. Yeah. He, I, I, what's this machine called? The Xerox machine where you can beep stuff, stuff across? <laughs> okay, it's Xerox gun. So he has a Xerox yeah. gun. I'm yeah. sorry. So he has a Xerox gun. You know, oh, is your, is your driver's license expired? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. But uh, oh, talking, about, talking about that guy and also that weapon, what I also find very interesting is in the trailer, it says, uh, let me find it. Let me see. Hold on. Give me one sec. There we go. It says, from Fots, two phantoms were born. And it says, Fots versus XOF. And what's very ironic, I'm assuming this is the point, they don't really show the whole initial, or initials on the helicopter, but the initials that he wipes, or this guy in the mysterious trench coat with the hat, um, he wipes off the initials on the helicopter. On the helicopter, the initials are XOF. And I don't know if the phantom they're referencing is this guy that has really bad, you know, burn burns or stars on his face. Uh, I, I just think it's to be really interesting because we don't really know. Of course, when you hear Fots, you th- immediately think of Big Boss. Um, and on top of that, because in the very beginning of the trailer, uh, you see the patch that says Fots on him. You know, so you're, oh, you see, right when you see the patch, okay, that's that's either Snape or Big Boss, someone like that. So it, it's it's gonna be really interesting on who the other ba- I'm assuming bad phantom will be. So, and looking at it, it's probably and it could be also thinking about when they, they said that it's probably gonna be a character from the last two games of I forget what they are. Port, oh, sorry, Metal Gear Solid, Portable Ops, Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker. So looking at it from those two games, it's probably gonna be some character or something that was someone that was hinted from there. Yeah. Or I I I didn't I didn't play or listen no, I don't wanna say listen. I didn't play or or follow those games, so I'm pretty much lost there. As of right when I saw when I saw the trailer and I saw the oil raids exploding, I immediately thought of MGS two with Raiden, you know, going around the different parts of the oil raid. I immediately thought of that I was like, no, 1980s versus what, 2000s? I would assume, or I'm I'm, I'm assuming 2000s. Uh, I could be wrong, but it, the the time gap didn't seem right. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I, uh, I, my concern is for this is that there's so much detail in this one scene. They're putting, as you're saying, emphasis on the hospital scene, and you can't help as you, you're talking about Melker's Hall too. A couple of people complained about this. That look at it. The oh dear, what what's it called? The da, the tr- on tanker, the, the tanker from Malcolm Solid Two is deliciously uh, detailed. Mm-hmm. So many things. Raven, yeah, such as that. such as putting up a dead body and dropping it for a ration. 
No, 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 not that part. It's just that the details in, on the environment. You get the lockers. The sorry, it was sorry, guys. It's it's this is an inside inside joke between my brother and I. Uh, my brother was playing the hardest difficulty on MGS2, and I oh. started playing. I, I I began on the hardest difficulty again. My brother is a lot better than me, but I started playing on it, and all of a sudden I picked up a dead body. On extreme. I dropped mode. it. On it. Yeah, that's it. Extreme mode. And I dropped the body, and a ration popped out. And my brother says, are you kidding me? Is that how you found your rations? I'm like, yeah, I'd have plenty of them. And I, I can't remember how many rations he had. He When he was fighting all the rays in MGS2, I think it was like, he only had like two rations. No, what happened, no, what happened is, was that I played through most of the game without realizing you could just pick up a body and drop it and pick up a ration. I didn't realize that. And and I didn't and, and it didn't hit me and it also didn't hit me when um, you're having the shootout with the 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 soldiers at the end to meet the Metal Gear rays. The rations were popping off their bodies, so I didn't it didn't click with me. I didn't put two and two together and realize that I missed. <laughs> I made my job. I made my life unnecessarily hard harder. Mm -hmm. Well, for that well, one. any I'm sorry. Back on subject. I'm really sorry. I had to yeah, okay. I, I had to throw in the joke there. It's okay. I didn't realize you're, that's what you're referencing to. What I was saying was, I'm, I'm hoping is that they don't go into the trailer trap. I'm sorry, the, the tanker trap, where that it's here, a trap. It's it's deliciously detailed, and then but then when the you go into the uh, the big shell, the the second part of this game of the game, it some people thought that it what well, didn't have the same amount of detail. Yeah. As the tanker did, I, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what also, what also, talking about this hand, his hand again, of course, uh, is the very end of the trailer when I mentioned about the patch with the diamond dolls. Uh, if you looked at his left hand, which I also thought was kind of creepy too, was I mean, not his hand. His hand wasn't creepy. It was like a, it was like a very bright red, vivid red, yeah. uh, mechanical hand. But it wasn't just the hook. It was all five fingers plus his thumb, yeah. which I thought was very interesting. But what, what creeped me out, which reminded me of Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 1, was he has, I'm assuming it's shrapnel in its in his forehead. And I was like, okay, is is he coming out of a battle? I mean, I, I, at first I was like, well, okay, is he coming out of a battle? No. I was like, no, he can't be because he could be bleeding. You know, you, you would see blood coming from the shrapnel. So I'm assuming that it must have got lodged into his head and either he's just so badass he doesn't need surgery or doesn't worry about it or I don't know what. So, well, I, well, again, well, I just want to, want to find out when the game is finally finally released. If it helps, uh, the hand, the hand, the robotic hand you're talking about and Peace Walker, I forgot the guy's name, but he has a... Uh, a robotic hand just like it or probably the same one. Oh, really? And, and look at it and also what happens is that in the game in his last final moments he tries to kill Big Boss by shooting it <laughs> as a projectile. Was that so, was that your uh, sound effect for shooting? No, no. I actually bumped you, you, it. You, <laughs> you bumped in your microphone I was like, oh, is he, is he doing pew pew? Yeah, well, with, it's with getting this. interactive now. <laughs> We're not just, just talking oh, about gosh. interacting. Yeah. But he was able to shoot it he, however, he couldn't bring it back or bat, you know get do any something really uh, like um, you know poof he shoots it goes back uh, goes a certain distance comes it comes back to him click you know like that oh okay but yeah I think well, I'm concerned about is that how how fantastical or are are you, are you doing a pun there with the no. phantom what no, ph no no no, 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 no. <laughs> but how okay how I, I um, look at how big this game is getting. It just gets bigger and bigger, and I'm just curious about. Um, what I get concerned about is uh, the technology wise of things. And for example, we're talking about the Xerox gun. You're talking about um, <laughs> Xerox. <laughs> you're talking about oh, what's going on with like the dead space technology. You and I, you went, you got got a little irked by that in the first trailer. And yeah. looking at it, you don't see this technology going on in the two first game, and four. Yeah, the first game, second game, and fourth game. So, and for me, it's like there's like, it seems like a technological gap going being created. But on on the other hand, in, in its defense, in its defense, um, I, I really think that you know the government does have technology that it doesn't want to show off. I, no, no, so, I'm not, I'm not, that's not the so, problem. 
that's not the problem. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, it, it. On the other hand, to you know, to observe from both sides of the story, you know, there might be some technology that the government made, and then like, okay, we gotta scrap this. You know, this is too mu- this is too powerful, or whatever sure. it might be. But I mean, on the other hand, you're right. Yes, you're right because you never see that invention. But on the again, on the other hand. Uh, Maybe Kajama, or maybe not. Maybe it's not a maybe, but maybe uh, Kajama wants to put in something that's new that the viewers or gamers haven't seen before. So they, yeah. he wants to. I mean, of course, the the flaming unicorn is pretty scary, and uh, what what who else was it? The, the Psycho Manus was pretty good. But the the I think it was like he was like a kid. I'm assuming I'm assuming he's a teenager, but uh, it, I I just thought it was really interesting and when I watched the the gameplay of Ishmael guiding Big Boss to the hospital I just thought the graphics were amazing. I know graphics should not be the primary aspect of a game but just watching it was I thought was pretty good and I I, I don't know I mean I, I didn't we'll see what happens and uh, for me the the final part I think that's all I have for notes the, the final thing I really want to talk about and I really want I your want opinion add, on this I need to add something to you okay, okay. it's the Dead Space map it's, I understand it and I, I understand it because it's gonna, this could probably be more, be more important than ever because it's going to have the open world yeah and, well and they they did mention that they did mention that so I understand this is probably going to be very important because they need to, if it's going to be being that this is a Fox engine, they're showing it off. It's going to probably be a very big world, and it's going to be absolutely vital to have not just a radar, but also some place to say, "Where the heck am I?" Oh, well, you know. Well, it, what I also find very interesting that I sh- the good thing you mentioned about this open world, because I believe that if you're in an open world, kind of like Skyrim almost, um, you have a choice of doing the missions or skipping them or do them however you please. I really believe there's going to be like a whole bunch of multiple endings for this game. And so people are going to be playing on different difficulties, uh, trying to do no kill, no kills whatsoever, etc., etc. I mean, of course, except for the bosses. But I think it's going to be really interesting to see the ending for this game, or endings for this game, because I really think Kajama's going to be, you know, trying to sneak, sneak something in there. Like, oh... You, 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 you'll get these three and I'm making this up you'll get these three endings when you play it these, this way but if you do it this way you'll find a, a really big easter egg for MGS and I, I really think this is going to be a great game for that yeah but you have to be careful also that you you, say, you got the best ending in the game but then you created a time paradox you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I remember that video yeah, with Raiden it's, yeah. yeah, it's it's very limited I think in the sense that because you know Look at it. You know what's going to happen to Big Boss, and you know that it's looking at it. It seems like you could arguably say it's it's setting up for his big downfall in the games. And for example, the Diamond Dogs. I won't be surprised. Maybe that um, it's a transition. And and look at it, the hospital, and given how the lack of security. And it, I won't be surprised that what what Big Boss has done, he's kind of, he's gone back into the United States military or something, or some military that he's going to be, or he's in good terms with because if he he's okay, oh he's he's awake, get security, get lots of guys here, you know, get them heavily armed, get get him El Gear here. We need to make sure he stays here. <laughs> exactly, or or just a flaming whale that comes out of the ocean, or yeah. assuming the ocean, and eats a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. that's even better. And I look at it, I also understand why they're doing this because I think it's also they're making Big Boss cool, cooler, but they're also making Solid Snake cooler because you're talking about you know a clone. Yeah, you're talking about a a man that's able to overcome Big Boss, the world's greatest soldier. Well, well, not only that, I, I think I think even though again for the third time or fourth time, Tajima said that he was stopping at, at the fourth one. Uh, I still think this is a smart move because I've always been curious about Big Boss. I mean, yeah, you see him in MGS3 and I'm assuming Peace Walker and the other games I have not played. Uh, but I, I still think it's it's a great move because I've always been curious about Big Boss. You know, and there's that gap between around the 1970s, 1980s, you know, b- between before Solid Snake starts, you know, of course, with 
NES and MGS1, and then of course MGS3 and such. So I think it's a really nice gap to fill. And on top of that, it develops more of a character for Big Boss, and you appreciate uh, his, his his skills, his tactics, and everything that Big Boss can do you appreciate. And another thing I find really interesting about the trailer between Ground Zero and also Phantom Pain is in Phantom Pain, he has brown, orangish hair. Okay? In Ground Zero, when you first see the close-up of him, uh, of of him, sorry, of Big Boss, you see him with silver grayish hair. But um, the last thing I would, I would like to talk about is at the very end of the trailer, it says, the, I'm assuming a Russian lady says, V has come too, and re, and the, it's T O, not T O O, um, and then the very bottom it says Diamond Dogs, or I think it's a, let me watch the trailer one more time or the very end. I'm assuming it's the the patch of the Diamond Dogs. V. Yeah, it, it says V has come too, and then it's T O with the period, and then behind the words or the sentence, it is the the patch for Diamond Dogs, the mercenary group that. Bid boss traits. And I am curious if the V represents MGS5, or is it a uh, a code name for somebody or something? It's a dual purpose. Uh, as someone said, one, the first purpose is that it's known as to say, it's signify it's Metal Gear Solid 5. People have also said in other places that this is the first time that, that someone has used Ro- the series has used a Roman numeral. So, as you're saying, the second purpose is is unknown yet, but it's meant to represent something. So, uh, someone in another pl- a, another YouTube, I'll share you the link, Patrick, if you need to. But he said, uh, "Vic Boss." Yeah, that's it was used in Peace Walker. It to represent you know, some big boss. That's so. It be, could be the, that peace. Um, it could be on the you know the on the five you know the, on the finger the two fingers represents peace the peace symbol so peace has come to and thinking about it if I recall correctly the Cold War is a big deal in the um, in the Metal Gear Solid series if I recall I remember Liquid Snake making a big deal of it because that's when soldiers when the Cold War was still going soldiers were revered and loved and respected but once it was over they were thrown to the side. And I think if I, I don't have the timeline correct on this, I think, but it was the reason why it gave rise to Outer Haven for big bosses because it's meant to help keep those soldiers significant and protected and give them some kind of significance in a world that seems like soldiers are no longer needed. The only thing I haven't thought of yet is I haven't checked the Metal Deer Wiki. For any characters that start with the with the letter V, Volgan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Volgan. yeah. Let's see. I, actually, I don't recall any other names with starting with V. It could be it could be the computer system the AI that's established in the Patriots because that's kind of getting to that point. Also, is there is there a group that has five people in it? Maybe maybe the Diamond Dodge has five people, which is why it has a Roman numeral. I don't know. Uh, the only thing I have to think of, uh, this is probably completely irrelevant, but there are, well, if you want to include uh, Liquid Ocelot as a as a snake, or a, a, a part of the snake family, there are technically five snakes, which is Big Boss, number one, Solid State, number two, uh, Liquid Snake, number three, Solid Snake, number four, and then finally Liquid Ocelot. Mm. So, I don't think that I don't think that relates to anything. I could be wrong, but it's just an observation I pulled up. Yeah, it's like uh, it's going to probably be a ventral alley. I think this problem, this the shame of it is, is that it's all just a teaser. They put it just enough information to make people start questioning what their appetites, and all we can do is hold our breath and wait for the game, and hopefully it doesn't stink. Yeah, and I think it's also. <laughs> I also looking at it. It's going to be interesting because I'm curious. It's like they're changing how they're doing their method to the Mel Gear, the Mel Gear series. I don't think it's bad, but I'm just saying is that it looks like it's more Western. I don't see, oh, oh you know, like an anime. I don't see a anime. It seems more of a... Western. Well, for right now, it doesn't seem like yeah. it's anime. Looking at it, it seems like it's a much more mature story. There's no humor in this one. It was just... 
It was like in Metal Gear Solid 4 where you see John yeah. being an idiot. It's like, uh-huh. Yeah, and it just... This seems like this is just going to be a dark game, perhaps. Yeah. Or it's yeah. probably, there might be funny moments in there. Because if you have a serious... Any serious game, you've got to have some... Um, a moment or two that's amusing just so that it, it just relieves the tension because it having too much and then you lose the joy in the game. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, but again, this is the trailer and the, the, the whole trailer, or the trailer that we watched had only a song over the whole thing. I mean, in the very beginning, you hear the people talking and trying to uh, revive Bid Boss, but after that, you just hear music the rest of the time. So... If we didn't have music played the whole time, I could maybe give a different opinion, but I really don't know. You know, I mean, right now they're showing Bid Boss in the hospital most, or seems like most of the time, because nine years is a long time, a decade pretty much, being in a trauma. So we really don't know what's going to happen. You know, I mean, of course it's not out yet, but uh, I just don't know if it, there's going to be humor or, you know, like in MGS3 with Revolver Ocelot. When he tries to do the trick shot with, uh, I think it was, I forgot what pistol he had, and it jams on him. And then tonight is, you, you never do that, especially in the midst of battle. And then you, you just see the, you, you see the humor right there, you know. It, so it it just depends on how everything turns out. But um, yeah, this concludes our MGS5 trailer or trailers review. This is my brother, Average Gamer, and I hope you guys enjoyed our conversation. So thanks for watching, guys.